I have no witty intro for this video, so read the title. Alright, so we're gonna go to Crazy Cats' website, Kingdom Hearts, select that. Select Tools Archive for Kingdom Hearts 2. And then you gotta extract all this to some folder. Okay, now you're gonna wanna make a folder um, wherever you wanna wherever you wanna save the images to because you'll have to extract them before you can edit the textures. I'll just throw something on my desktop. So open this image editor, Kingdom Hearts 2 image editor. Um, browse to wherever you keep all your model files. Yeah, we'll, we'll change Terra again. So save all of that to wherever you want. And then, well, probably shouldn't have exited out of that, but now we gotta edit these. So bring up whatever image editor you use. And it's basically just editing PNG files until they look how you want them to. Something to note is that all the uh, files will probably be index colors, so you'll want to change the mode to RGB so you, know, you can work with it a lot easier. Yeah, that looks amazingly bad go with that. Get your, uh, get your mod looking how you want. Oh, this is, this is looking, this is looking great so far. I'm loving, uh, all of the great artwork that I'm doing for Terra. I think this is what he really should have looked like. Oh yeah. Anyway, sometimes Enquant hates my guts, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this into a new and improved image. Yeah, there we go. Overwrite that as well. There we go. Just gotta do that a few more times. Anyways, now we can go back to the image editor. We'll go ahead and replace things. You um, know, gotta select replace. You're hovering over the image you want to replace, and there we go. Now the textures are altered. Now we can go ahead and bring that up in the model previewer. This will let you uh, really appreciate the work that you've put in. Rather, it'll let you preview it. Whether you appreciate it or not is a different thing. Oh, uh, see, now that looks like art right there. Now we've got to patch the MDLX into the game. Throw this into the object folder real quick. Um, what's this? Uh, yeah, probably not under the texture. We don't need that anymore. Uh, make sure it's named properly. Oh. And now we can make a patch for it. Yeah, so object b export20.mdlx. Don't want to compress that. I've shown you all how to make patches already. So let's just skip to seeing it in game. Now we can see our work of art in the game. Oh, dude, and look at that. That is definitely a very different texture. Anyways, that's how you texture mod and get it into the game.